water droplets. So first of all, we are going to delete all the objects in the scene and I'm going to bring in a plane and scale it by 10 times. Then I'm going to add a UV sphere so we can transform it into a water droplet. First, I'm going to select the top faces and then I'm going to turn on proportional editing. And once we've done that, we can change our UV sphere into a water droplet. Then I'm going to shade it smooth and we have to subdivide our plane because elsewise we do not have enough geometry to work with. So I'm going to subdivide it 200 times, scale down our droplet and play some keyframes to make it fall. First, I'm going to press I to make a keyframe on the top side and then I'm going to press I when it's at the bottom. I'm going over to the physics tab and press on dynamic paint and I'm going to make the plane our canvas. I'm going to set the type to waves and now it's going to behave like a wave. But there is a problem. We do not have a brush yet. So we are going to click on our droplet and go to dynamic paint and set it to brush. And on the waves we are going to check the factor from 1 to 2. And as you can see the first animation is starting to appear. I'm going to change the time code to 0.45 and I'm going to change the speed to 0.31. I'm going to put damping all the way down and as you can see we have a very slow moving but satisfying wave. I'm going to place my camera so that only the wave is in the picture and now I'm going to give our plane a material because quite obviously we need to have some water material. So in the principal BSDF I'm going to slide up the transmission all the way to the top and once we've done that I'm going to lower the roughness, but not disable it entirely. I'm just going to leave it at 0.03 or something. And now I'm going to change the IOR, or the index of refraction, to 1.33, which is the index of refraction of water. So now we do not see anything in our rendered view, but that is not a problem because we need to bring in an HDRI. You can load in your own HDRI. I'm using Easy HDRI, which is a free add-on. You can check it out in my 10 lighting tricks tutorial if you want to know how this works. But now I'm just going to rotate the HDRI so that we get our reflections on a good looking part of the plane. Water is never entirely flat, so we have to make some adjustments as well to our material. I'm going to bring in a noise, a color ramp and a bump map. And I'm going to set the noise texture to 4D so that we can animate it. And I'm going to change the scale to zero and then I'm going to plug them into each other and lower the strength of the bump map because it is way too much right now. But as you lower it, it starts to look better already. Now bring in a value node and plug it into the W of the noise texture. Then we can animate it. So we can plug the value in there and all we have to do is write down hashtag frame and then a number. I chose 10,000 in the end because otherwise the ripples would move way too fast. Don't forget to give the water drop of the same material as your plane. And once we've done that, you can choose to use cycles, which makes the render look a little bit better. And uh, you can change some settings, scroll down to light paths and set it to full global illumination. This is the best lighting quality we can get out of Blender and everything is supposed to be on 32 by the way. And alright, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this render, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!